Yesterday I found this low effort game jam on H.io. In game jams you normally try your best to do the game in a short amount of time, but in this one the host challenged us to only put low effort. Was it really appropriate to use the word challenged in a context of a low effort game jam? <laughs> Speaking of host, he's doing low effort hosting the jam as well. Is there a Discord? Uh, Discord channel was too much effort. What is it judged by? Uh, judging is too much effort. Prizes? Uh, prizes are too much effort. Doesn't suit the gem. For the gem itself, he suggested that we might do a game in 10 minutes or even 2 minutes. And I was like, 2 minutes? Are you kidding me? That is lame. True professionals only need one minute. Let's begin. First, we import a function to generate random numbers. Then we generate one. Then we create the main game loop. We read a number from the user. In case the user guessed correctly, then he won. Otherwise, we print smaller in case the number of the computer is smaller, but with a twist that sometimes, one out of four times, we're gonna flip the answer, and else we print bigger. That's it! I made a game in one minute. Okay, not yet. Let's test it to make sure that it actually works. The number is from 0 to 10,000. Let's try to guess it. 5,000. The computer says smaller, which as we know, doesn't mean it's smaller, it might be flipped one out of four times. But let's believe it. 2500. Oh, no, no, 4000. Bigger. 5000. And now it says it's bigger, like it might have lied the previous time, or did it lie this time? Uh, 6000. Smaller. What about 4000? What about 4500? Bigger. This one is getting surprisingly hard. I knew it is not as simple because I've already tried this before recording this video, but it is still hard. <laughs> For the effort I put in the game, it is surprisingly fun and hard. Finishing the game itself is harder than creating it from scratch. <laughs> but I don't give up. I don't give up. Nailed it! <laughs> Nailed it! Yeah, it took a bit longer than I would thought. Actually, how long did it take? It took 98 guesses to guess the correct number. Longer than I would think. In the normal version of this game, you just do binary search, you try the number in the middle, like 5000, and then it says you like higher and you, you go the middle number from 5,000 to 10,000, so 7,500. And then it says you lower, so you take the middle from 5,000 to 7,500, and so on. And with this strategy, in the worst case, you only need logarithm two guesses from the maximum number. So in the case of 10,000, you would need 14 guesses. But with just a simple twist, it becomes much more interesting and much harder. To be honest, I don't know the best strategy for this variation. If you don't want post in the comments, it would be very interesting to read. So, is that it? Do I already upload the game to each.io? Well, not yet. The thing is, I still have to port it to HTML and JavaScript to make it playable for other people, because unless I do that, it is just a piece of code in Python which few people will actually run. So I have to put just slightly more effort and pour the game to HTML and JavaScript. And that is what I'm going to do now. 15 hours of work later. The game is complete and uploaded to itch, the gem is over. When I first uploaded it to itch, I was kind of scared because the styles looked really strange, something was wrong. 
but then I realized that I just had to set background color to white and re-upload it to each. Luckily, I had 10 more minutes and it worked. So the game works currently on each as it did on my desktop. I'm not super satisfied with how it turned out, as well as I'm not super satisfied with the lighting of this shot. Like, what is that? Anyway, I think, for example, this part of the game is too colorful and doesn't fit the style, but I don't know a quick fix for this. But overall, I'm pretty satisfied how it turned out. The game is pretty minimalistic, looks good, and it even has some settings. We have the main one is, of course, full screen. You can enable right click and you can enable text selection if you, for example, want to copy your game history, which unfortunately, as I see right now, would not work because it is refreshed every second. Anyway, <laughs> it works without major bugs. You can start a new game, let's say medium, and play it as you would. Oops, something broke where it wasn't like this. It worked. Is it also broken here? No, I think it is only broken on each. Well, anyway. Maybe I'll fix that later, but otherwise it works as expected. You have a game, you can start a new game, you have a whole history of your games, everything works great. With that, my work is complete and I can do some marketing of my game, which is actually work in itself. Who cares? Let's post. That's it. Like this video if you like it, subscribe for more videos like this, and write me in the comments what should I code next. See you in the next video. And for the rest of this one, I'll leave you with a time-lapse of how I made the web version. Bye!